Hello everybody, Steven Rogers Slim here. Welcome back to my channel and video. So glad you could join me once more. So today I will be doing a review of this beautiful, excellent figure. The Black Suit Superman uh, from the Snyder Cuts or Zack Snyder's Cut version of Justice League. Uh, which was very long. I can't remember exactly how many hours, but it was much longer than the original one. But it was a fantastic storytelling, if I might add. So uh, this figure comes from the two-pack box of the Nightmare Batman, and of course, together with this black suit Superman. Uh, so this is a beautiful figure. So uh, I'll just be talking about this black suit Superman first rather than Nightmare Batman. So this uh, video will just be a review about this figure alone and not the Nightmare Batman. So uh, let's really get down to looking at this um, beautiful figure in greater details. Alright people, now um, I wanted to really talk about the risks of this figure first. Now uh, because I think I have been playing around with War Machine or even Iron Man or even uh, figures that have gloves on. So I really like the proportion of the hands here. So this is much thinner uh, compared to those figures whose wrists uh, either they are armored or they have gloves so I, I really like this proportion and look at the details in the lines of the wrist as well so we can't deny these are beautiful hands look at the details there the veins so I, I think the proportion uh, really got me there because I was thinking at first uh, how come the hands are so slim so thin but then I realized because they are bare hands right yeah so I really like the hands there so you have two four six uh, six extra wrists three extra pairs here and then you have the one that is already on the figure with the clenched fist so great details there if you ask me by hot toys so the standard uh, batteries just provided here, extra hand packs, which is in beige color, of course the color of Batman's uh, skin or texture, standard uh, accessories here provided by Hot Toys, and then of course this is the dynamic stand. Uh, maybe i do a quick uh, comment here, so definitely please do not clamp your finger, your, I mean not your finger, <laughs> don't clamp uh, the stand onto the figure itself, the pressure will be exerted here, you will damage the part of the figure here, whether it's Superman, Iron Man, uh, or any other figures with the dynamic stand, of course these are figures that can fly, um, with the ability to fly, that's why they come with the dynamic stand, so don't clamp it here. So what I did was, or what I usually do is that I just lean my figure on the dynamic stand like this. Alright, you really don't want to damage your finger. Your, your, what do I keep saying? Finger. Figure. Figure. You do not want to damage your figure with this kind of clamps. Alright, but so this is a standard accessory by Hot Toys with regards to the set, the, the, the display stand, dynamic display stand. No, I really love this head sculpt, so this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to pre-order this figure. Just look at the details there. So this is the the head sculpt there. Uh, of course, of him using his ability of the laser beams, uh, shooting out from his eyes. So uh, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, there are also third-party or custom uh, companies figure making companies out there that make this uh, kind of uh, firing eyes, laser beams, kind of head sculpt for Superman. 
Um, so, but I, I, I think um, with my experience of collecting Hot Toys, I think I like uh, Hot Toys version or quality a lot more than most or many other third party companies or custom company companies. But, but of course, a bit of a disclaimer here, some third party companies do make excellent figures and hit scopes as well. So this is a beautiful head sculpt here by Hot Toys. Great job there. As always, uh, Hot Toys nails the head sculpt. So talking about the head sculpt, so this is the default normal head sculpt. Definitely of Henry Cavill. Cavill, Cavill. So beautiful head sculpt there, if you ask me. All around look. So, uh, in fact, talking about the batteries, right, uh, if you look at the instructions manual here, you can actually remove the head scalp and then the batteries are inserted at the neck area. So, um, I just wanted to share everyone, share with everyone that piece of information. I'm not going to do it. Don't really use batteries in my figures, in my toys or hot toys figures for that matter. Beautiful head scalp there. So, uh, I mean... If you look at this figure, right, the black suit version, I think there are other companies or third-party custom companies that make this as well. But I think I like this version of the black suit Superman produced by Hot Toys. Let's look at the cape here. By the way, the cape is wired. Um, I, I haven't had much experience with... Uh, wired capes because so far so far i think hot toys has only made uh, capes without the wire so i won't say much here uh, but i would say that uh, i think it definitely gives collectors the choice or, or the 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 ability to really pose the figures um, in flying mode especially or the wind blowing against the cape so I guess the wire cape gives the option of having us collectors to pose it that way. So this is how the figure looks like under the cape. So I guess uh, that is an uh, advantage of having a, a wire cape. But I haven't exactly go and pose around with it yet. Neither, as I mentioned, neither do I have much experience with uh, wire cape. So but I think this is a good. Uh, Feature there provided by Hot Toys in its accessories. So, this is how the rest of the Black Suit Superman figure looks. Now, uh, actually, as I'm holding on to the suit here, I thought I thought Hot Toys would make improvements, but I think as I'm holding on to it, feeling it, it feels the same as the previous version. The blue and red version of the Justice League version of uh, Superman so I just hope that this material will last as long as it can so take note that it feels a bit sticky same as the uh, Justice League version blue and, and red version and the uh, Dawn of Justice version of the red and blue Superman. So, pardon me, that let me focus on the soles of the shoes or the boots or the feet for Toys 2022 DC. Alright, so, um, feels like the same version as those two versions of course the man of steel superman is definitely a different version i think that quality was much better but um i shall not talk much more about that figure here but i will definitely show everyone uh that figure together with this figure and all the other two versions of superman so they are all together four versions now if you don't already know uh four versions of superman there by hot toys so i can't wait to do the comparison video for all four Supermans or Superman. 
so that would definitely be one of the next videos i'll also be doing a comparison video with this figure with the other justice league figures so the cape uh, more on the cape i think the, it feels good it looks good just plain black wired so this is how it looks like top part behind so uh i i just hope that this material lasts for as long as possible now it's not good to keep this uh, figure in a box for too long i think the plastic will stick onto this and it might damage the suit so i i i suggest especially in a country as hot and humid like in singapore i think you should unbox it leave it out in the open if you want to put it in storage you should put it in ziploc bag I think the plastic in the boxes uh, provided by Hot Toys in the long term can stick to this and damage the suit. So this is not good to be kept in the packaging for too long. So uh, last or maybe definitely least or not least, this is the display figures that I thought it is beautiful, it's excellent. I can't remember if it's exactly the same as the other Justice League version for the display stand, the, the, the red and blue version of Superman but just looking at this stand, I think this stand is beautiful so it, this is how it looks like at the bottom so beautiful dynamic display stand there by Hot Toys in fact, I think I really love this Justice League Superman or maybe you should have written black suit Superman. Nah, I think Superman is fine. Keep it simple and easy and short. Alright, so uh beautiful figure there if you ask me, great accessories. Um I, I, I'm just really glad I bought this. Even though it's expensive, it comes in a two pack. I don't know why Hot Toys didn't want to give everyone the option of buying them individually so I think that is also a not so good point about this figure so what if someone doesn't want the Nightmare Batman or, or vice versa so I thought uh, Hot Toys could have just um, sold this individually the Nightmare version Nightmare Batman version and this black suit version so I don't understand why Hot Toys had to make us buy both I thought they could have given us the option of buying one of each or, or both you know you could have packaged them individually or in the, in the box currently in this way I thought that would be more popular with collectors and fans and consumers so up uh, I think that's that beautiful figure there. You should go get it. You really should go get this figure. All right, people, I have come to the end of my review video for this uh, beautiful figure. Now, apart from all the technical aspects or, or physical aspects of this figure uh, together with all its accessories, the head sculpt, the display stand, the extra hands or wrists uh, I just wanted to say that actually at this, at the point of this, the production of this video I think there has already been much news where Henry Cavill or Henry Cavill uh, might not be, most likely will not be back uh, for his role in Superman uh, for this uh, DC uh, extended universe version of Superman that is or this uh, DCEU's uh, universe uh, version of Superman so I mean whatever it is there's a high chance that Henry Cavill or Cavill, Cavill, Henry Cavill will not be back so that I think that's very sad uh, honestly I, I really don't know what DCEU is doing um, I 
got this version of the Justice League and together with the different the, 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 the different members like Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Flash, or even Martian Hunter, Wonder Woman, uh, or, or if there are any other Justice League members of this DCEU that I not mentioned, I thought this was a great version uh, of the Justice League and the different DC heroes, so I don't know what um, DC DC's plans are or what they have in mind, but I really like this version, so speaking of which, I really like this version of uh, Superman so uh If Henry Cavill is not reprising his role, I thought this figure would be even the more valuable and expensive. So, uh, I also really can't wait to display this Superman together with my other versions of the Superman. That's the Man of Steel version, the uh, Dawn of Justice, Batman vs Superman version, and of course the uh, Justice League version. Uh, which is in the so-called original red and blue color uh, So I thought this is really a must uh, Figure to own now. I'm really not sure how the prices are like now I, I haven't really went to check it personally because I'm just very happy. I managed to get the set But I, I, I think this is really a must get so uh, if you could I think you should really go get this especially is Henry Cavill or Cavill I think he's one of the best or, or, or my favorite Superman for that matter so I uh, just uh, pardon me there it's a bit long but just some final words or comments from me with regards to this figure this actor this movie or, or all the movies in this uh, DCEU universe so anyway I will end this video but I just want to mention that uh, after this review video will definitely be a comparison video for this figure I will definitely be doing at least two comparison videos one would be with the other Superman and one would be with the other members of the Justice League bottom line of my review video this is a must get especially if you are a Superman fan or Henry Cavill fan or Justice League fan Alright, Stephen Rogers Lim here signing off. Hope to catch you at my next video, which will be a comparison video for this figure. Take care, goodbye, and as always, don't stop collecting people. See you, bye bye, and take care now.